Okay. Hey, everybody. Good evening to you. I was just, uh, well, still kind of eating some dinner, huh? It's getting kind of late, but, you know, I need some chill time. It's, it's just time for some chill. <laughs> and I felt like playing this game recently, so I guess I'm streaming it. There, that, that's just how you get streams from me these days, huh? Um... That'll change pretty soon, actually. My final finals are coming up, and after that I don't have any more school, so I'll probably stream a lot more uh, soon, but for now this is just something I'm squeezing in because I need to de-stress a bit. Um, this is my first Layton game, or it was back when it came out, or around that time. I didn't know what Layton- well, I knew what Layton was, but I, I thought it was some dumb casual game, like, you know, most puzzle games are just dumb casual games, but, um, I saw a friend playing it, and I fell in love with the characters, so I got the game and I played it, and I loved it, because the story's awesome, the characters are awesome, the music's awesome, puzzles maybe not so much. I kind of suck at puzzles. <laughs> But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I haven't played this in like a few years, so this will be fun. I have played all of the Layton games, though. <laughs> I kind of marathoned them at one point, so there's that. Um. Oh, okay. I have to use a stylus. That's awkward. Alright, let's go. Yeah. So I should mention this is emulators, so... I think it's kind of glitched out. I honestly thought you were pulling my leg. Maybe not. What? I, wouldn't dream of I don't remember how this starts. <laughs> but the menu is glitched out, if you could tell. Like, the background on it was not loading right. That was a little weird. Professor, I hope this letter finds you well. As for me, I am in quite a predicament. Um... Is the controller not working? You see, oh, there we go. The London we know and love has been thrown into absolute chaos. To complicate matters, the calamity I speak of does not take place in your time. This may be difficult to believe, but I am writing to you from ten years in the future. I know this is a lot to take in, but I'll explain it all soon. For now, I ask that you head to the clock shop on Midland Road in Baldwin. I look forward to seeing you again. Your student, Luke Triton. <laughs> it was like, after that, I was hooked. Like, oh my god, what is this Strange about? As it sounds, it seems <laughs> that the author of this letter is none other than your future self, Luke. From my future self? But how is that even possible? Man, I miss 2D Layton. <laughs> Like, the 3D Layton games are fun, but, like, I miss the 2D style. I don't know, but it does raise the question, if this letter is indeed authentic, how did it get here? Um, by time-traveling postman? <laughs> Just joking, of course. <laughs> but on a more serious note, I think this mystery might be the oddest one we've ever encountered. Indeed. And even in the future, you seem to need my help in solving it. Your constancy can be quite a comfort in these uncertain times, my boy. Uh, well, thank you, I suppose. But back to the main question. How do we know the letter is real? Hmm. Well, we haven't much to go on yet. But I can't help but think that this strange occurrence 
is connected to the terrible events of last week. Hmm. Also, I really just love U.S. Luke's voice, and it annoys me that some things, like the spinoff with Phoenix Wright, uh, don't use that voice. <laughs> that annoys me a lot. Okay. It all started about a week ago. Using a six-dimension alpha distributor, I was able to guide a concentrated stream of ham and air particles through a temporal vortex, more commonly known as a wormhole. This stream of particles allowed me to divine the terminal points of the vortex. Armed with this information, the next step was to artificially distort the flow of time, and generate a massive magnetic field via a coil. Once the magnetic field is firmly established, one has the ability quite literally punch holes uh. or hive gaps into the very fabric yeah okay i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be displaying a video right now god damn it crucial step no that didn't fix anything <sighs> hey quite the spread we have here inspector it's really annoying, the videos don't play. I should probably figure out what's up with that because those are good. I like the videos. Though, it does make me wonder what we did to deserve invitations to such a feast. It's obvious, Barton. I'm an influential man in the world of law enforcement. It's only natural I'd be invited to an important event such as this. Now that I think about it, that really bothers me. I need to figure that out. Um, because those videos, like those cutscenes, are important and really nice looking. And that's really sad if they don't play on the uh, emulator. I suppose that's possible. Hmm. <laughs> oh gosh I see what happened okay yeah sorry on the stream it like totally froze my bad uh hold on this is terrible I need to like fix this uh <laughs> Nope, that didn't fix it. Um... Okay. Uh... Damn it, OBS. Work with me here.
Okay, so OBS doesn't like OpenGL, apparently. Uh... Hmm. But the game does not play its videos. That's weird. Uh, yeah, you still have my actual cart. <laughs> I'm gonna need that back at some point. Not that I could actually, like, use it for this, but... It has been a while. That's okay. I wasn't really gonna replay it anyway. Ha, huh, that's probably why. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna like restart this. See if that works. Good thing I didn't get far. Hey Lion, I'm streaming this with the emulator. Hey! Hey, fix this. Okay, that I think guess that's all I need to do is not use OpenGL. Apparently. Alright, take two, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that. Reset that. There we go. Okay. Okay, take two. Yeah, there we go. Video. It just doesn't seem to add up, Professor. I honestly thought you were pulling my leg. What? I wouldn't dream of it. Mm. Professor, I hope this letter finds you well. As for me, I am in quite a predicament. Geez, sorry for all the technical difficulties, but I mean, it's been a while since I streamed with this emulator. <laughs> And I only did that once, and it was not for... And it was for Pokemon, which totally doesn't need this kind of, like, attention to detail, so... Cut me some slack, man. <laughs> also, hey, Saturn. You see, the London we know and love has been thrown into absolute chaos. It makes you sleepy? Well, that's kind of the point. It's so relaxing. Matters, the calamity I speak of does not take place in your time. This may be difficult to believe, but I am writing to you from ten years in the future. I know this is a lot to take in, but I'll explain it all soon. For now, I ask that you head to the clock shop on Midland Road in Baldwin. I look forward to seeing you again. Your student, Luke Triton. Strange as it sounds, it seems that the author of this letter is none other than your future self, Luke. From my future self? But how is that even possible? I don't know, but it does raise the question, if this letter is indeed authentic, how did it get here? Um, by time-traveling postman? <laughs> Just joking, of course. But on a more serious note, I think this mystery might be the oddest one we've ever encountered. Indeed. And even in the future, you seem to need my help in solving it. Your constancy can be quite a comfort in these uncertain times, my boy. Uh, well, thank you, I suppose. But back to the main question. How do we know the letter is real? Hmm. Well, we haven't much to go on yet. But I can't help but think that this strange occurrence is connected to the terrible events of last week. Hmm. Yeah, even this looks better. Okay. Cool. It all started about a week ago. <laughs> Using a six-dimension Alpha distributor, 
Did, did he just call Luke an idiot? I mean, I guess. A stream of particles allowed me to divine the terminal points of the vortex. Armed with this information, the next step was to artificially distort the flow of Oh, the audio is a bit weird. Massive magnetic field via a solar coil. Once the magnetic field is firm, I don't think I can do anything about that. Quite literally punch holes or hive gaps into the very fabric of space time. After this <sighs> crucial step, it is simply a matter of constructing an energy. Well, quite the uh, spread we have here, Inspector. Though, it does make me wonder what we did to deserve invitations to such a feast. It's obvious, Barton. I'm an influential man in the world of law enforcement. It's only natural I'd be invited to an important event such as this. Uh, I suppose that's possible. Possible, you say? Um, boom. Uh, probable. Highly probable, sir. <laughs> right, yep. Time for... Looking around at things with my handy mouse. Sound of water is very relaxing. Thanks for that insight, Leighton. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of sleepy now too. Like, <laughs> this game is so relaxing. Just the opening. It is kind of slow. Dreadful, Bill. Uh, do get this over with quickly so we can leave. Oh, yes, dear. I have to say, I feel a bit out of place here, Professor. That's quite understandable, Luke. Yeah, the sound and music, definitely. Also, the pacing is really slow. I'm sure most people would feel the same way in the presence of the Prime Minister. Hey, look! I think I see Inspector Chalmy over there. Hmm. So, Professor, what do you think about this whole event? Do you believe that someone has really built a working time machine? I'm not entirely sure. Still, if it proves to be true, can you imagine the stir it will cause in the scientific community? Also, yeah, time machines, time travel, totally my jam. It's also why I wanted this game in well, the first place. I for one, I'm very excited. Though, you don't sound entirely convinced, Professor. Anything's possible, Luke. But I won't be convinced until I've seen the contraption work for myself. And I must confess, something about this entire presentation seems a bit... off. Why do you say that? Ah, of course. That must be your famous intuition talking, huh? That's one way of putting it, <laughs> but enough speculation. Look over there, Luke. That guard? What about him? He seems to be looking for a man who snuck into the event uninvited. Oh, so we have an intruder in our midst. All right. Puzzle number one! Yay, a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Okay, table next to one with a red flower. So there's red flowers. A table cloth different than any color next to it. And it doesn't have a yellow flower. Hmm.
Okay, well, if it's next to the red flower, it's either that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, or that one. It can't be these three because it has to be different than any of it next to it. I think it's this one, actually. Yeah. Right? Pay attention to... <laughs> Pay attention to instructions. There we go. I think it's that one. This one's as good as sold. Yeah, okay. I was gonna be really, really, really embarrassed if I got that I wrong. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, yep, I know what Picarots are. Basically, it's your score. Ladies and gentlemen! This presenter! <laughs> Thank you for taking part in an event that will undoubtedly go down in scientific history. And here to demonstrate mankind's first time machine is its creator, Dr. Alan Stangan. Thank you, my esteemed colleagues. After years of research in the field of time travel, I am pleased to share the fruits of my labor. In just a few short moments, I will be moving on to our scheduled demonstration. But first, I am delighted to announce that Prime Minister Bill Hawks is in attendance today. As such, I have reserved a very special seat for our very special guest. Please, join me on stage, Prime Minister. No need to be shy. Is this thing real? What do you mean? I mean, is this contraption a genuine working time machine? Why don't you have a seat? See for yourself. Before we start, would you honor us with a few words, Prime Minister? Hey, Beffo. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a monumental day, not only for our great nation, but for the entire human race. Since the beginning of time, we humans have strived to transcend our natural limits. We have conquered the skies and the seas, and we have even traveled to outer space. But the one frontier that has always eluded us is... Time. Indeed, traveling through time is a dream many thought was out of reach for humanity. Until... Now. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will join me in ushering in a new era for mankind. <laughs> that politician voice. <laughs> Thank you for those words, Prime Minister. <laughs> yes, we are traveling through time right and now, that's now true. for the moment you've all been waiting for. Please take it away, Dr. Stangan. I have just one more request before we start. I'd very much appreciate the Prime Minister's assistance in this demonstration. What do you say, Mr. Hawks? What? I assure you, there's no cause for concern. But uh, I was under the impression that I would merely be observing the proceedings. Ah, well, do forgive my presumption. It was never my wish to make you uncomfortable. I realize it's been some time since you traded in the hard sciences for the softer variety <laughs> like what is that supposed to mean please feel free to return to your seat prime minister wait uh, 
What I mean to say is, of course I can assist you. Bill, have you lost your mind? Ah, that's the courage we've come to expect from our fearless leader. You have my thanks. And now, without further ado, I give you my time machine. Mr. Hawks, would you mind just stepping inside? Well, rip. <laughs> Something's gone very wrong. You don't say, Layton. You don't say. <laughs> So, you think that what happened last week is somehow connected to this letter? Wait, maybe if the time machine was real, this letter is real too! That's some nice logic, Luke. <laughs> I don't know about Good that. job. <laughs> These two elements aren't the only puzzling issues. Tell me, Luke, have you heard about the recent disappearances occurring here in London? Oh yes, I read about it in the paper. Paper that you can't read because it's just gobbledygook. <laughs> Some of London's greatest scientists have been mysteriously vanishing. Yes, and I can't shake the feeling that those disappearances are linked to this whole affair. <laughs> in any case, it seems our best course of action is to head to the location mentioned in the letter. Good idea! Missing leader. Prime Minister's been missing for a week and the whole country's not like in total chaos. <laughs> like what? Following the clue in the letter, the professor and I set off. What awaited us was one of the biggest mysteries we've ever encountered. Somehow, a single letter had made its way back through time. And the sender, strange as it sounds, was me. The future me, that is. Little did we know that this letter would draw us into the strangest of situations. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the Prime Minister. Hmm, well, not important. <laughs> He's gone now, oh well. <laughs> Oh. 
I have to click it. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Yay, second puzzle. Okay, so we start here. Go 12 o'clock, and then I guess immediately 3 o'clock? That doesn't make any sense. Because then you can't go that way. So I guess this way, and this way, then 12 o'clock again, then 9 o'clock, then 6 o'clock? Could be this. That seems about right to me. Or I could go like all the way up and then 3 o'clock, then 12. No, that doesn't make sense. It's about the only thing that makes sense. Alright. Here's my answer. E. <laughs> I like how you can tell when you're correct by their faces during that little segment. Yep, yep, that was pretty obvious. <laughs> okay, yeah. Skip tutorials, I know how to play. I knew that'd give me a coin. Yay, hint coins. One of the fun things about playing this on a DS is just tapping the screen so much, like a million times, just to find a hint coin. <laughs> one. And hidden puzzle? No, that's the same coin. Okay. I don't think there'll be hidden puzzles for a while. I've played so many of these games, I kind of sort of have an instinct for where they hide hint coins. It's kind of hard to explain, though. I think that's all of them, probably. On this screen. There's usually like three per screen. I think I got them all. Aww. Mm, that sucks. For once it's not my internet being dumb, although I did drop a bunch of frames at some point. But my internet's actually being mostly stable. Trunk, yes, convenient trunk as a menu. <laughs> I always thought that was weird. Like, what, what, what does it mean by a trunk? He just carries a briefcase everywhere, I guess. I appreciate trying to make the menu like in universe, <laughs> or at least make sense with the theme. As we'll save, I guess. <laughs> Coins. 
Also, the cool thing is, like, clicking everywhere to find a hint coin also gives you, like, all the extra dialogue they wrote for clicking on random stuff, so it's just a good incentive to actually look at, at that dialogue. Because I'm sure some... Somebody went to all that trouble to write it. Every single line. At least one person. Probably multiple. Okay, I think I got them all. Yay, time to solve a puzzle so somebody will give me information. <laughs> Staple. Oh, I remember this puzzle. I remember this taking a while for me to solve. Great! Uh, let's see if I can do better now. Probably not. <laughs> I see one hour to get to the office by bus. Work takes two hours, and then you take the bus back, which would be another hour. But I guess that doesn't matter, because we're looking for... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um... Oh yeah, it does matter actually, because these are the partial times for... Okay, no, no, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Talking myself in circles. Um... Okay, so basically we can assume that three hours after these times, we'd be wanting to take the bus back. I feel like there's a trick in this. <laughs> Another thing about latent puzzles, you have to assume there's a trick. <laughs> uh, or something that you're missing, because they're usually just really tricky. Let's see, um... For this one, you'd have to wait, assuming... So it's three hours. Four plus three is seven, so that would be seven a.m. There is no seven a.m. You'd have to wait... until ten thirty. Which would be another three and a half hours, so that's like... Writing with the mouse is hard. Three and a half. <laughs> and... Nine plus three is... Noon. But there is no noon. Twelve, there's midnight, but not noon. So you'd have to wait like five more hours. So that's, that's not good. Um... <laughs> what? What is that five? Uh, okay. This one's 5.30, you would just miss the bus, and you'd have to wait another three and a half hours? Or two and a half hours. And this would be 11 at night. 
I only have to wait one hour. Because then it's midnight. And this one is two in the morning? Should leave three hours. So I guess it's this one? If I have my math right. Pretty sure. Hmm. How about this? Nope, apparently not. Okay. I guess it's back to the drawing board. Damn it. Told you I'm bad at puzzles. <laughs> hmm, okay, so what did I do wrong? Because I feel like my logic sound takes one hour to get there. In two hours to do your work, so that's three hours. And after three hours, you want to catch the bus. But we need to figure out how to have the least amount of wait to catch the bus. Oh no, because I'm dumb. Uh, gosh, 6 plus 3 is not 11. It's 9. I'm an idiot. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I knew that happened. Okay. Blarg. That's what I get for doing math in my head. I suck at it. Okay. It's nine, which means that we'd miss it, miss the eight o'clock one, which means that we would need to wait like another three and a half. Or no, just three. Ah. Yeah, just three. actually this one. This one's as <sighs> No? Oh my god. Let Told you. This again. Grr. Well, now I know which two it's not. <laughs> that's that's a plus. <laughs> uh Whatever. Okay. <sighs> Let's think through this again. What am I missing? Ugh, I don't think I'm actually missing anything. I just think that I can't math. Grr. <laughs> 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 in the morning. You'd be wanting to take the bus back at 7 in the morning, but there is no 7 in the morning. So you'd have to take the 10.30 one, which is three and a half hours later. I 
feel like I'm missing something. Uh. This one turns into noon. But there is no noon, it's 12 in the morning instead. Midnight, I mean. <laughs> and... That would mean you'd have to wait till the 5 p.m. one. Which is five hours. <sighs> what am I missing? <laughs> use a hint. That's kind of dumb. This shouldn't be hard. It's only 10 picarots. Oh my god. Oh, uh, you're just seeing me fail so miserably. Funny thing is, I remember this puzzle. Like, I remember it giving me a hard time the first time, too. And I think I remember there's, like, some stupid trick to it that I'm just not seeing. For the sake of not making this drag out forever, I'm going to start just guessing. <laughs> Which is terrible, but, you know. Hmm. How about this? Can't be any worse than it already is. I've already embarrassed myself. Let's go. Hmm. How about this? Oh, it's fucking... Really? Okay. I knew it. Whatever. H how is that the shortest time? How? How is that the shortest time? Am I just really that bad at math? Oh my gosh. Uh Yeah, that is only two. Ah, oh, fuck, whatever. <laughs> now that we got that over with. <laughs>
Clicky clicky, click 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 click. Come here, eight coins. Come here. Face. Uh. Oh, puzzle. In puzzle. I'm reminded of a puzzle. Let's do it. <laughs> I remember this puzzle, too. Oh great, I have to write the answer with my stupid bad mouse handwriting. <laughs> There are seven boxes, and this is just more math. <laughs> One thing I like about the more recent Layton games is that they stopped giving math puzzles <laughs> as much. They're more logic and sort of physics-based, too. Which is a lot more fun for me, but, you know, some people really like math puzzles. And they're all sad, but whatever. <laughs> anyway. I will try my best to do math puzzles. Um. <laughs> okay, so for this guy, it takes him one minute. Okay, it takes him one minute. There. To go up and down, to move one box, basically. And this guy takes two minutes to move two boxes. You take seven minutes for all boxes. And he would take a lot longer. <laughs> well, 14 minutes, so like twice as much, of course. Um, but there's two of them, so I need like some in between of that. Uh... I also have to admit that they did the notes better, these this note thingy better on the newer Layton games, but this one's still a lot better than the older Layton games, so it's kind of in between. Um, I wrote one box. Ah, uh, I'm dumb. That's supposed to be a two. Two. There we go. <sighs> he took four boxes, and he took three boxes. That's still seven minutes. But 
But they're like going at the same time, I assume? Like, that's another thing. Like, they can both go up and down the stairs at the same time, right? Like, they're, they're going at the same time, so these times would be, like, mixed together. So what takes him... If it takes him four minutes to do four boxes, then in that time, he would also do four boxes. Right? So... Uh... Hmm... I mean, it doesn't even need to take four... four minutes. <laughs> it would take more like three minutes, I guess? No. No, it... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let me think this through again, out loud. Uh, so he takes two minutes to take two boxes upstairs. So he, like, takes two boxes, starts going upstairs. In that um, same amount of time, he would also take two boxes and be going up upstairs and back downstairs. So that's four boxes out of the way already. Then in the next two minutes, he would take the next two, but he would only take one, so it would only take him a minute to go up and down, and then he would still be going up and down. Or, he would take two to go up and down two minutes, but then that leaves an extra minute for him to go up and down. So I'd still want to say four minutes, assuming that they can go up and down at the same time. <laughs> Like, it doesn't have to wait for one of them to come back. I'm gonna say four. This one's as good as sold. No? Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me think this through again. <laughs> this game is really pushing the memo function, isn't it? The problem is that using the memo actually really sucks with the mouse. Okay. Oh, no, I'm dumb. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow, I'm so dumb. Okay. It... No, wait. It does take two minutes. No, wait. Am I... Am I... Oh, damn it. Um... So it takes him a minute to go up to the third floor. But he's carrying two boxes. It takes him another minute to come back down. But he's not carrying any more boxes. Uh, 
that amount of time, he would be taking a box up, back down. This guy would finally actually be up there when he does that. So like, as this guy's going upstairs with two boxes, he's going up the stairs with one box. And then he's going back downstairs. Or he's actually back downstairs with one box. So like, wait, no. I'm confusing myself. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got this. Uh... Just do... Yeah, that makes it easier. Okay, um... So he goes upstairs... with two boxes. This take took him one minute. Okay, in that same minute, he's up... Oops, hang on, I should use a different color. He's upstairs, and back downstairs, with one box. Okay, so that's what happens in a minute. And then, that's three boxes already, which is three. Actually, better yet. Just, like, mark off the boxes. Then, he's upstairs, he's downstairs. Wait, where is this? Okay, so... <sighs> so if he's upstairs, he takes another minute to come back downstairs. But he's not carrying a box. In that same minute, he is back up and down with one box. That's... Oh, I just realized I should be keeping track of the minutes. So that's... Two minutes already. <laughs> okay, that's two minutes. Actually, no. I should tally it. That makes more sense. Two minutes. And now he's back downstairs. He's back downstairs, and there's another box gone. This is a little bit better than, yeah, trying to figure it out in my head. Now, he takes another two boxes and goes upstairs. Two boxes. Another minute. Tally that. And that's two boxes. In that same minute. So it is three minutes. Damn it. Okay. I was kind of right. One box. In that same minute. Okay. Hmm. How about this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just gotta Ooh, take it slow pretty. and draw things out. <laughs> For some reason I thought that he had to come back down too. I guess that's why I thought four minutes he had to come back down. No, they didn't have to come back down. They just needed to get the boxes up there. Thanks. <laughs> Oops, no. 
Just trying to find another hint coin. There we go. Okay. No, there are like no hint coins here. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's a hint coin. Where are the other hint coins? There we go. Okay, one more. One more. Definitely a lot more fun when you're actually tapping the screen. Just saying. <laughs> Don't play it on emulator, go go get a copy and play it on your 3DS or whatever. Okay, well I don't know if there's a third one. Where it is. Whatever. The door is locked. Of course, it's locked with a puzzle, because what did you expect? <laughs> oh, I kind of remember this puzzle. Puzzle with the timepiece. Well, obviously these all have like in, a clock, clock hands on it, but that's not what it's talking about. They all have numbers on it that has to do with clocks, but that's not what it's talking about either. It's talking about this. It's an hourglass. See? Obvious. Here's my answer. Yeah. <laughs> no puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. They give you, like, so many distractions, but the, the hourglass is kind of obvious. Or maybe I just remember that puzzle, I don't know. That's one big clock. That's what that is. Yeah, I mean, like, everybody knows the professor. <laughs> and of course we have to prove that we're the professor, even though everybody knows we're the professor. <laughs> Just one of those tropes of Layton games. Oh, this is a fun puzzle. How many needles eyes does A pass through? That's easy, I love these kinds of things. Following... Uh... That's 
thread or string or something. Okay. Here's one. Two. Three. Four. Although I guess this would be hard on a small DS screen. Like it was back in the day. So there's that. Five. Six, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, ten. I've got a good feeling about this one. Yeah. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. <laughs> it wasn't even hard. <laughs> I can sure investigate by clicking on everything. That, there we go. In coin. Oh, I didn't mean to click on it, but okay, whatever. Oh no, we got reminded of a puzzle. <laughs> The problem here is what orientation is this clock in? Obviously, it's not upright because there's no line there. But pretty much <sighs> any oh. Twitch don't don't disconnect. God damn it. The back. I think it's back. Okay. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. It was doing so well. Anyway, like I was saying, um, any of these lines could be like 12. <laughs> How are you supposed to tell where the, the top of it is? Like, I feel like you kind of just have to guess. Although, well, there is the fact that they're, like, straight like this. Which means it's either 6 or 12. <laughs> Whoops. But which is it? 6 or 12? Um... Wait, not 12. Duh, if it was 12, they'd be on the same thing. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm dumb. It has to be 6. Or, I mean, it could be 12, 30. That's what I meant to say. Not 12. Uh... <laughs> But it's probably six. Would they be tricky enough to make you say twelve thirty? Just had to check that all twelve lines were there. Um Whoa. 
gonna go with six. This one's as good as solved. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I can logic. Again with the you can tell exactly what time it is. This one's obvious, it is noon. Or er, twelve. <laughs> I can't believe it could tell that was a two. Hmm. How about this? No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Right? It's fun! Even if you're bad at puzzles, you can still just find some fun in it. Also, it's just so relaxing, even when you're bad at puzzles. I tend not to get that frustrated, unless it's like a really difficult puzzle <laughs> that I spend a lot of time on. Yes, because solving puzzles means you are learned. <laughs> I'm just kidding, he's like an actual professor. Oh, 
Immediately another puzzle. Yay, puzzles. And a gear puzzle. I love gear puzzles. Alright, let's do this. This is fun. Okay. So... If this one rotates this way... And this one rotates this way... And this one rotates this way... If this rotate this way, then... This one will be rotating that way. Be rotating that way as well. So it's rotating this way. I'll also be rotating that way. There's a faster way to think of this, I just don't wanna accidentally make a mistake. <laughs> Again. Um, this one's going this way. This will be going that way. That's only if that one's going. This one goes this way. So it would be going... This way. Which would actually make that one go the other way. This one's going this way. This one would be going... This way. It's kinda hard to see, but whatever. Um, okay, so... Assuming we do B, and that one's going that way, and that one's going that way. This would be going this way. This would be going this way. So, B checks out? Um... Let's do C. Okay, so it's going this way. It's going... Wait, did I draw that wrong? Mm. I did draw that wrong. Whoops! Whoops, whoops, see? Going that way. <laughs> bad arrows, bad. <laughs> Jesus, be going this way. That would be going that way, which means it'd be going the opposite direction. So not C. Not C. <laughs> not C. Um. Okay, now if we do A, it's this way, this way, would go this way, and that would go the wrong way. So yeah, it's B. Let's see if I've got this right. Could have done that faster, but whatever. Well, that's settled. Yeah, I mean, there's a mathy way to do it, but my way's more fun. <laughs> I don't think the clock should be doing that. Are you alright, Luke? Yes, but that was quite a shake. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? And just where in the world are we? Interesting. Very interesting. The mystery only deepens.
That's not very polite. <laughs> How could London suddenly look completely different? What's up with that? Didn't mean to cook the door again. Yep, I know. Shut out. Okay. Come on, where are all the hint coins? Give me my hint coins. There's another one. Okay, I guess I got them all. A year, you say? <laughs> hmm... So strange. Keep clicking because I keep expecting there to be more. No, got that. I keep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lighting games make you addicted to clicking. <laughs> Holy stilted on a stick! What does that even mean? <laughs> well, that's interesting. The only people who wear a hat like Layton is Layton. <laughs> so, that's weird. Hey, Velox! Long time no see. Yeah, I brought Leanne Cat back. Kind of fills up some space on the stream. <laughs> uh. Oh, not again. Why, Twitch? Okay, it's back. Is it? No? Yes. Okay, it's back. Yeah. Well, that's just gonna ruin the... the Twitch archive. Oh well. <laughs> Luke, it's a bar. They probably don't have hot chocolate. <laughs> Puzzle time. Great. 
Great. Kindness rewarded with a puzzle. <laughs> I know, right? Need me that Z4. <laughs> hey, there are puzzles in this game. Just pretend. <laughs> Yesterday's day after tomorrow is Sunday. What day is tomorrow's day before yesterday? What a riddle. I kind of remember this puzzle, actually. Okay. Okay, so... Here's today. Here's yesterday. Yesterday's day after tomorrow, so yesterday's tomorrow is today, and the day after that is tomorrow. And that's Sunday. Just write that. S U. Oh, that's interesting. Nice to know that they are making more stuff, even if it isn't the... Uh, get out of here. Okay. Uh, I'm sad, though, because, like, I could totally use a Z4, but, yeah. I guess it was ended pretty well. Uh, there's not much else for them to do. Anyway, um... What day is tomorrow's? This is today. So tomorrow's... Day before yesterday. Okay, so tomorrow's yesterday is today. Day before that is yesterday. So we're looking for this, which is Friday. Yeah, that sounds like it'll be really good, especially if it's made by the same person. So that's that's pretty hype. Even though, like, one reason to fall in love with Z was the characters, but eh. Yeah, but that doesn't lead to, like, a nonary game or anything. I, at least I can't possibly see how, like, their quest would lead to another nonary game. I would be excited to find out how. <laughs> and it would be nice to have, like, full closure with, like, actually saving the world and everything, but that's... I'm good. <laughs> I'm good for now, anyway. I'm sure in a couple of years I'll be like, where is E4? Come on. But... <laughs> right now I'm good. Anyway. Okay, let me think through this again. Oh, that sounds like a good name. So, this is today. Yesterday's day after tomorrow is Sunday. What day is tomorrow's day before yesterday? Pretty sure I have this right. Hmm, how about this? Yeah. Logic. I knew it. <laughs> Luke takes offense. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Yay, mini games. This is another great thing about the latent games are the the mini games. Take a break from puzzles by playing more puzzles, but they're in the form of little games. Let's 
see. I should probably save. Just check that out. <laughs> it's kind of like a Mad Lib, but with stickers. Yeah, pretty much. Just a Mad Lib with stickers. Tree? Tree on the right. It's actually pretty cool that changes like that. A yellow thing to the left. I don't know if the man counts as a yellow thing. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, yeah. uh -huh, person. Gotta get more stickers. Is that, is that a compliment? Why yes, Leanne Cat has very long eyelashes. <laughs> they are gorgeous eyelashes. Lose the hat, but it's his signature hat. Come on. Hmm, that's very suspicious. Yeah, his hat is too posh for this neighborhood. That's it. That's what everybody's all worried about. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> Ooh, 
Yeah, the sunflower just needs to clean its room. Jeez. What a lazy sunflower. <laughs> Ta ta. <laughs> Have a puzzly day. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bee. Not just any bug, it's a bee. Jeez, Luke, I thought you knew your animals. Okay, I guess there aren't any more in here. Okay. This poor guy. You see, I told you, this music's amazing. Wow, it's weird. Some random guy is really scared of Leighton. <laughs> but he's such a gentleman. Is Luke like five? Actually, Luke's supposed to be like ten, I want to say. <laughs> Why would anybody be afraid of this gentleman in his dashing hat? <laughs> Yeah, there's a mystery. You didn't- oh, well, I guess you did arrive late. Okay, I guess I can catch up anybody who just got here. Um, so the overall mystery right now is that the professor got a letter from somebody claiming to be Luke from the future, telling him to go to that clock shop. And that's like the overall mystery is who sent that letter and what's it about. And then there's also a side mystery of a, the missing Prime Minister who disappeared after a time machine kind of blew up. A supposed time machine blew up. And then they went to the clock shop and now they're here. So, like, not, not much has happened, actually. There's been a lot of puzzle action, but not much else. <laughs> Yeah, see? It's actually a really interesting premise. I think most of the latent games have really interesting premises. 
But this one is like the most interesting. Five years in the future, you don't say... the uh, hint coins? Probably. Nope, oh, nope, oh, there we go. There was one. They also made it a lot easier to find hint coins in newer games, which I guess is nice, but at the same time, it was fun to just spastically click everything until you just couldn't find anything anymore, and then you realized you were done. <laughs> Again, verify the professor's identity, of course. Just an excuse to make you solve a puzzle. Oh, I remember this puzzle. These kinds of puzzles are really fun. And then they started doing a lot more of them in the newer games. More of these, like, tactile puzzles. something like that and then wait no that's not gonna work okay hmm That works. Um, come here. That. Hey, I figured it out. Easy. I've got a good feeling about this one. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Oh, really? That's interesting. Professor, if you're reading this, it means you've made it safely to my time. Oh hey, it's him again, with the letter. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see you again. I wish to enlist your help in freeing this town from the tragedy that has befallen it. But first, I'm sure you'll want some proof that you're actually in the future. I've thought long and hard about the best way of convincing you. Because the professor is definitely not easily convinced about this stuff. Make your way through town to the address below. What you find there is sure to quell any doubts. Room 312, Green Hospital, 123 Auckland Lane. Why would you doubt future Luke? Come on, it's Luke we're talking about here. Why would he lie to you?
<laughs> That's usually how these things end up, huh? Yeah, you're a gentleman, Luke. Remember that. coins. There we go. <laughs> Should it not the lantern? No. Okay. Where? There's gotta be more hint coins than that. That was just one hint coin. Okay, I guess my pixel hunt is not going very well. Oh, I remember this kid! <laughs> Seriously, there should be more hint coins. I'm rather disappointed. Yep. Oh, oh final save. Ah, there we go. There's another one. It's weird. There's usually three, but okay, fine. I give up for now. New screen, more hint coins. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Whoops. Hint coins. <laughs> A ladybug. This is in France. <laughs> There's one. There's another. They do tend to be in windows. There we go. Okay. Who's this shady fellow? He has a puzzle for us. He's a family goon? He looks very noir.
<laughs> Let me just rearrange your face. <laughs> I always thought that was a really weird phrase. And also, there's no violence. You just gotta solve a puzzle, and we're good. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember this puzzle was tricky because it's definitely not as straightforward as it seems. Because if you put things in like the logical place... Like this... It doesn't make sense. Because that's not what you're supposed to do. Yeah, more math. There's a lot of math puzzles in this game. Thank goodness they stopped doing that as much in the 3DS games. See, the problem is that you just assume that you follow the line, like, logically, but actually... The line can go like this. <laughs> like, these lines don't mean anything, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Not much. They don't mean what you think they mean. I think this makes the most sense. How do I make this work? I think that doesn't work, but I felt better actually putting it down there instead of doing it in my head. Um... Oh, I can rotate these. Oh. That's weird. Why can I rotate these? Oh, so I can make this a minus. Ah. Aha. Tricky, tricky. Wait, but there isn't... Hmm. There's enough space for that. But yes, there is. <laughs> I don't know, I just kind of put things in places. Um...
There we go. That's it. Haha. -ha. <laughs> you just had to figure out that you were supposed to that you can rotate it. That should do the trick. What? No, come on. Come on. I'm sure my logic was sound. That was totally the trick. Oops. That's totally it. Come on. Okay, fine. I mean, 5 minus 3 is 2, plus 2 equals 4, so... Maybe the arrows do mean something. I could have sworn that they didn't, but okay, fine. Yeah, this works too. <laughs> Let's see if I've got this right. Yeah, okay, fine. Misremembering does not help me. Okay. I got a hat sticker. I know where that goes. Right there. Oh, when did I get that? Yeah, I told you, well I said it earlier, that sometimes they're just really tricky with the puzzles. They just, there's, always, there's a trick to them that you just won't be immediately apparent. Because they like be tricky. It makes me like, uh... Paranoid that like all the puzzles have a trick to them. Not again. What is up with Twitch today? My internet is fine. Or at least I think it is. Is it back? I guess it's back. Nothing else? Okay. <laughs> 
Luke listens to his stomach, like all little boys, I guess. Time for a puzzle! Ooh, it's another logic one, yay! Okay, so none of these caps match. All four pens have one white section. So... This one goes here. <laughs> I can't draw arrows with the mouse. <laughs> Not again. Okay. The working pen is to the left of the one that should have the green cap. Hmm. Okay, they all have the wrong colored caps, which means that this one shouldn't have a blue cap, so it should have this cap. Which means that the other two have the blue caps. Just out of principle. So it's this one that has that works. Hmm. How about this? Yeah. Okay. That was pretty easy. Phew. That's a relief. Incredible. Another puzzle! Yay! That's kind of unfair, because we really need to know, but whatever, fine, we'll solve your stupid puzzle. It's actually probably going to be easy. What kind of stupid map for a subway station has a hint on the back instead of, like, actually marking it? <laughs> Only in the Leighton world. <laughs> Mimic the path that students take from school to the library. Okay, so whatever I do to get to the library from the school, I have to be able to do from the flower shop. So let's just start doing things like... I can't really do that because the flower shop can't do that. Or can it? I guess if we're assuming we orientate it this way. Can we go like this? Go like this. And we go two blocks down, it's this. That seems right. What if we take a different route? If we could just go like this. Let's go like this, but that wouldn't actually take us anywhere. There's nothing there. Okay. 
Let's try... Going this way. Can't, because there's nothing there. Or did I go the wrong way? sure it's right here. Hmm. How about this? Yeah. I knew it. Yay, another sticker! I resized it. Oh well. Um, hold on. There, good enough. That's a girl, right? Um, Here we go. Oops. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Hit coins, hit coins. Not in the lamp? Wow, okay, that's surprising. Oh, in the flowers. Into coins. Or a puzzle. That works too. Oh no, not a match puzzle. Oh no. I'm bad at match puzzles. <laughs> How dare I sneeze? Ruining your immersion. <laughs> Oh wait, no, this is... this is different. I thought it'd be like one of those where you have to like rearrange the matches using only one move or some shit. I hate those. Those are so annoying. But these, this is easy. Okay. The problem is which side are they work looking at it from? That's kind of an issue. Well, I, I assume by saying side, it means like here or here, and not like front or back, hopefully. Oh, Night Velox. <laughs> so... That means... There's at least two here. Well, no, there has to be at least three, actually. There's... 
three here. And... This one also has to be at least three, but then it's also probably... Actually, more like at least four. There's three in this row. And there's at least three in this row. But it says at most, not at least. So... If we assume that both of these are stacked to two, then that's actually four. And... You can assume that all of these are stacked to three, so that's actually nine. But all of these have to be one, so that's still three. Um, if both of these are stacked to two, then that's four again. It's actually... Twenty. I count twenty at most. Probably wrong because my math sucks. <laughs> yeah, okay. Damn. It's back to the drawing board. <sighs> hmm. I think really the issue is like which side is this view from? I suppose I have to, like, try it on every side. Uh... So, like, if it's on this side, then it's 20. But if it's from this side, then... This one is... 6... That one's three. This one's two. And this one is eight. That's nineteen. Okay, then we do it from this side, which means this is four, this is nine, it's gonna be the same, well, almost the same, three, it's eight, no, four. Yeah, it's the same, 20. So it's gotta be 20! What am I doing wrong? Unless it's... Mm, different from this side? Let's try that. Let's try it down, 20. <sighs> okay. Then this is this is eight. I'm running out of good colors to use. So I'll use black. Eight. And two wait. No, this is six. Gotta flip it. That's one. This is six. Oh yeah, that's actually more. It's 
21. How about that? Hmm. How about this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Phew, that's a relief. I got the professor's approval. Makes me happy. <laughs> okay, I don't think there are any more hint coins. Unless I'm just missing a pixel. Well, is it another mini game? The only reason people just randomly give Luke presents is if it's a mini game. Yeah, Senpai noticed me. <laughs> oh no, she ruined the fun of toy cars for him. this mini game I think it was fun let's check it out yeah I remember this it's like a programming kind of thing which I love <laughs> I love the kind of puzzles that make you, like, think ahead to what something's gonna do next. I don't think I ever finished all of the this mini game, all the courses. Maybe I didn't even find them all. I don't remember. Collect all flags. Okay, let's see. It said I can't place it over a flag, right? Yeah, I can't. can't go down. Oh, but I can't go up. Oh, I can do this, so. There we go. Go, little car.
Yay! So fun. <laughs> I think you suddenly helpful little boy. There's another goon here. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to go in there. No, go back out. I'll go in there in a second. No, oh, I just wanted to click the light. <laughs> Cause surely there'd be a hint coin. Oh well, okay. <laughs> There's only been one hint coin. It's kind of weird. Maybe I need to make them goon move. Bostro. <laughs> Okay, seven days after seven years ago, or seven, seventy days ago. Oh boy. Um, great math. I'm too tired to math. Um, If seven days after 70 days ago was a Sunday, seven days before 70 days from today is what day of the week? What? <laughs> My head. <laughs> I'm too tired for this. Okay. Um... I know it's not that bad. I just my I just I'm just too tired. <laughs> uh Okay, let's do it like I did the other one. So like here's today. It's a really bad star. No, that doesn't help at all. <laughs> um Trying to think of a reference point for these 77 days. Like, where is today?
Okay, maybe I should start with like what's actually named, which is Sunday. So here's Sunday. And that's Would, hmm, I'm not sure, but would these, like, two weeks cancel themselves out, kind of? Because then it would just be 70 days ago and 70 days from today. I don't know if that even makes any sense. <laughs> um... I want to say it's actually Sunday, because this seems like a trick question. It sounds like a trick question. Oh yeah, I was right. Told you! This game tricks you! Like that, it's a stupid tricky game. <laughs> Ha! I knew there's a trick to it, I just had to remember. <laughs> and with that, I think I am done because I'm really, really tired. Obviously, I can't think anymore. Uh. And yeah, sometimes you like know the trick, but. It, it makes you think, wait, no, that couldn't possibly be the answer, because that's too easy. But it's actually the trick to the whole puzzle. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna make a save state, just... Because... Anyway, I guess that's it for me, for now. Um, like I said at the beginning, uh, my final finals are coming up, and after that I'll have no more school, ever, so that's exciting. But that also means I have time for streams, so I'll probably stream more, like starting next month, maybe, hopefully. Still don't really want to promise, but like... I'll definitely stream more than like once every three months or some shit like that that I've been doing, so... So that'll be good. Look forward to that. Uh, for now, I must get some rest. <laughs> I, I streamed a little later than I kind of wanted to, and it's not even been three hours, but I wanted to go to bed kind of early today. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody! Thanks to everyone who came out to this, like, random stream that had, like, no warning. Haha. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Have a good night!